Hello, this is my teardrop build. Here's a 5x8 utility trailer, just a landscape trailer. Here it is again, picture from the back. I removed the back uh, lift gate and added some crank down stabilizer jacks. Started working on the decking. Plywood decking coated with a black kind of waterproof paint. Cut out a spot for a storage area in the middle of the trailer. Here it is framed and insulated with the cutout. Picture of the cutout again. I'm going to add a box to that underneath. You'll see that in the next couple of pictures. Here's the top decking put on, a, on, on top of the foam insulation. Here's the cutout with the box actually installed. There it is again. A little bit of caulking around the, the gaps. Picture of the box from underneath with some strapping to for extra support. Here's the front uh, crank down stabilizer jack with the wheel on it. Put some diamond plate around the bottom perimeter of the trailer. Started work on the side walls, figuring out the radius. Here's another picture of the side wall radius. Here it is, kind of mocked up. I've got side walls up and the doors just stuck in there for now. Just see what it looked like. The back door is actually stuck in the back also. Kind of get a kind of a mock up, getting some measurements. Here's one of the side doors with the aluminum skin on it already, or the side walls. Here's the interior of the side wall, uh, partially ribbed out, ready, getting ready for insulation. There's a nice blurry picture. Inside of the side wall. Outside of the side wall with the door installed. No, not permanently yet. Here I've got the side walls up and they both have the aluminum skin on them. Just to kind of doing some more measuring. Same thing, just a front picture. Pretty much the same thing, just a lot of measuring. Here's the, there's a skylight on the top. I'm ribbing out the top section. See some of the ribs across the top and the skylight, trying to figure out how that thing's gonna fit. There's a kind of a sideways picture of the skylight. Again, picture of the skylight and the fantastic fan ribbed out. Here's some interior Pictures, more ribbing on the front. It looks like I'm running the wiring. I've got 110 and 12 volt. The front section has got the interior plywood curved installed. You can see on the outside, I'm getting ready for insulation on the outside top. Here's my one and a half inch rigid foam insulation going in on the outside on the top and the front. The inside is fully uh, paneled on the front and the top. Not Nothing on the side walls yet. I'm going to go with uh, fabric on the side walls. I like the paneling, but it looked too busy if, if I was going to do all of the walls. Here I've got the insulation going in on the side walls. Picture of the top again, skinned out with the paneling. It's 
Skylight's just sitting in there right now. It's not fully installed. Here's a picture of the top. No aluminum on yet. All the insulation's in. I'm just checking the fit of everything. Got the top plywood put on over top of the insulation. And the next picture, I put the aluminum skin on and the, the edge molding all the way down. That was fun. Starting to look like a trailer. Picture of the top before I start cutting out for the uh, skylight and the vent. Here's my cutouts. Here's my sidewalls. It's kind of a gray, fleecy material that I put on the sidewalls. Kind of to make it a little warmer inside. There's some of my wiring hanging out. Got the doors fully installed and fully trimmed out. Here's a picture of both of them. I got the carpet down inside the foot box storage area. There it is again. Got the fantastic fan up there, got it uh, wired in, I, and I'll have more later. 